Hi, Hi guys. guys! My name's Sophie. And I'm James. And this is Extraordinary. So this week, the word of the week is hope. And what's on this week, James? Oh, so many things. So this week is our first week in Advent. Uh, we start off with our first Sunday of Advent. That's today. Mm -hmm. uh, then we move on to, on Tuesday, we have St. Andrew the Apostle, who is a martyr, so everything's going to be read that day. Uh, Wednesday, we have St. Ralph Sherwin, um, who is the patron saint of our Derbyshire yeah. Trust. Uh, exciting times. Also a martyr, so read everywhere. And then Friday, we've got St. Francis Xavier, um, who's a priest mm -hmm. and then on Saturday we have St. John Damascene uh, who's also a doctor of the church very mm -hmm. interesting and at the Briars this week we're celebrating our first week of Advent so we're preparing we're getting all the decorations out it's gonna be really festive and we've just had our first open retreat which was relaxed and revised for sixth formers preparing for their exams and that was great yeah. fun wasn't it oh it's lovely so, so many good. great sixth formers up here at the Briars brilliant so let's begin today with the sign of the cross in the name, name of the, the Father, Father, and, and the, of the Son, Son, and the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There will be strange things happening to the sun, the moon, and the stars. On earth, whole countries will be in despair, afraid of the roar of the sea and the raging tides. People will faint from fear as they wait for what is coming over the whole earth, for the powers in space will be driven from their courses. Then the Son of Man will appear, coming in a cloud with great power and glory. When these things begin to happen, stand up and raise your heads, because your salvation is near. Be careful not to let yourselves become occupied with too much feasting and drinking, and with the worries of this life, or that day may suddenly catch you like a trap for it will come upon all people everywhere on earth. Be on watch and pray always that you will have the strength to go safely through all those things that will happen and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this reading sounds, it sounds pretty scary at first. There's, yeah. there's lots of imagery, but not very pleasant imagery in yeah. there. There's lots of talk of destruction. It's not very nice to read. But actually, it then moves on to that middle bit where it's, there's, there's actually a bit of hope in there, isn't mm. there? Yeah, we get all these images of Jesus coming in on a cloud mm. to save us, talking about our salvation. And actually, that's really hopeful, even in mm. our worst days when we're feeling really rubbish. Jesus is always going to be there to come and help us and to guide us and to make us feel a little bit better and offer us that hope which we're focusing on this week, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and we're, we're always looking forward to this as well. Jesus is always going to be there and we're looking forward to him coming again in that amazingness. And in order to see that, we need to prepare. And that, that's what all of this time yeah. in Advent is about. It's, a, it's that preparation for the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm and preparation for when he comes again one day. We're yeah. always excited for that and looking forward to it. So we're gonna think this week about how we can begin to prepare for Jesus is coming, his birth. Um, how can we get ready this season? How can you prepare yourself in this season of Advent? How can you be the best version of yourself? How can you be kind to the people around you to be supportive and helpful? How can you prepare at home? Maybe you can do a bit of the washing up this week or offer someone a helping hand with the job they're doing. So this week at the Briars, we have actually made our Advent wreath in preparation for Advent over the Relax and Revise retreat. Um, so your mission this week is to use things from around your home, maybe outside, inside, but to create your own wreath. 
It's a great way to prepare and it's also a great activity to do together. It might be a family activity that you do where we talk about the kindness that we can use being ourselves and helping each other to create those wreaths. It might be a lovely family activity. I think so, definitely. Mm. St. Andrew the Apostle. Pray for us. St. Ralph Sherwin and the Martyrs of Derbyshire. Pray for us. St. Francis Xavier. Pray for us. St. John Damascene. Pray for us. And we end our time of prayer together with the sign of the cross. In, In the, the name, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.